بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome everybody to this course from LemaQ Basic Operator Training The training is in the only basic operator level It does not involve any advanced skills It does not talk about them uh, This is lesson number three If you have missed number one and two please check for the links and try to find them because they are procedural and they follow specific steps that you should do before you come to this lesson the same applies to, to the future lessons that we'll have on this level, which is basic operator. In lesson uh, three, we will uh, have the goals as follows. First of all, we will translate a file using a memory. Uh, a memory is obligatory. You cannot do a project without a memory. And we will use also a term base, which is optional, but we highly recommend that you have a term base to save your time and efforts also usually in advanced lessons and tips we talk about importation of term bases and how do you make use of already made glossaries uh, for your help we usually talk about them for the time being we will uh, just in this lesson we'll talk about how to translate a file using a memory and term base but please follow our instructions because when it comes to the turn base it would be very risky if you do it on your own you have to get just some instructions on at least how to do it how to feed the turn base if you have especially if you have previous glossaries we will have a specific lesson and that lesson will be only for the turn base you are required to have memoq 2015 and uh, you will have the demo lesson number three. It's called ABC Company. You will find it with the links also uh, in the library. So the first thing we will create a project now. We'll name a project and uh, link it to the memory and the term base. We will import the file. Here we have the explanation how to import the files either by drag and drop or right click. Let's see what we mean by all of these things. This is the scenario. Your client has sent you a, a file and he says it's from English to Arabic. And uh, it seems to be from the ABC company. You remember in lesson two we created the memory for ABC company and it was from English to Arabic. Let's open it and see what's there inside this file. This is a Word document. <coughs> there are three sentences here, and apparently the client has put some of the words in different colors and backgrounds. As you can see, three sentences, very simple. Usually the client doesn't send you something simple like that, but remember this is a demonstration. So the first thing for this exercise to do, I'm just closing it again in order to tell you what to do. The first thing I would like you to do is to open this file and just to see it. So we have seen that you are see the three sentences as I said, uh, just to see it, no more. And then we will close it. We do not need uh, to see the document for the memo queue, but anyway, it's a very good idea all the time to view the file before working on the uh, document. Now let's see. Now we open the memo queue. Please open it. You'll find this page which is now empty. This is the place where all our projects will be set, will be will be kept. So you have your client, ABC Company, and all of his work for the time being is from English to Arabic. The first thing that we have to do is to think about the file. We have one file. What about other files? So, we have several files, but all of them belong to the same company. This is what we are going to do now. We're going now to create a project and say to the memo queue to tell this program that for this specific client, we may receive several files, but we want them all the time to be linked together so that you organize yourself and you not mix files with other clients. The first thing I would like to ask you to do is to right-click this one, the new project here, 
this one is a bit uh, complex you have new project like you have several options the first one is to go to the icon here and to choose new project or to go to the menu queue this item and then in the drop out menu you can go to new project so which one you like it's up to you no problem uh, anyway it's easier you can see it's easier to have it from the menu here from the icon here so click the icon click click new project this is the new project it will ask you to put a name as we decided it is from the company so that we want to differentiate the files of this company from other ones so it is ABC company and what is the direction it's English into Arabic basically it's English uh, US into Arabic so what I want you to do is to <coughs> click the new project and then enter the name ABC company English US into Arabic here the, we have the source language English United States keep it as it is if it is not English United States please go and put it English United States in the target language we want it for this for the purpose of this training to be just Arabic without any local and that's all for the time being you can press next or finish for our exercise I would like to ask you now to put finish please finish only finish so after you have created the project now we have created the name and we gave it uh, the uh, after we gave it the name we decided on the language now here we have another window this is our another window we are now inside the project we are now inside the project what I would like to do now is simply to close the program please close the program by pressing the X on the corner and I want you now to open it again open the program again the program is opening now here you are now the program opens uh, last time it was empty if you remember there was nothing here but here it's totally different we have a project the project says ABC company files English US to Arabic as we decided so whenever you receive a, a file from your uh, company which is called ABC if it's from English to Arabic just put them here what's the next step the next step now is to get into the settings of the program of the project and link them to the memory and term base let's see double click when you double click you will go to another to another uh, window the window is empty which means there are no files at all before we import the file I would like to ask you to go to the memories translation memories please click translation memories and here you have several options as you, as you can see the program is not allowing me to choose accounting because accounting is Arabic English it is in italics which means I cannot use it I want you now to tick this one ABC company English Arabic here now we have the memory attached to the program to the project move now to the term base please in the term base do the same here is different you can choose this one or that one there is no Arabic English and English Arabic directions with the term base I would like you to choose ABC company now everything is ready the project is associated with the term base that we want and with the memory that we want so we can go to the translation and see what we have click translations with an S this one it's empty 
what we do now is simply to go ahead and bring the file and translate it here how to do that two options please right click you have this import forget about all of other uh, other options you could have this import alternatively you have the the icon here personally I prefer the right click we right click import and we search for the file for my case I put the file on desktop anyway the file that you should work with is called demo lesson 3 ABC company English